Hello everyone. Today we're going to do an ADAS reset using the Hunter Aligner, an Aztec ADAS assist feature on a Ford Escape. It's a dynamic or driving procedure and we'll show you how that works with this particular unit. But first, let's check the alignment. All right, so now that we've got all our alignment measurements and our alignment is in specification, as we can see here by all green on our alignment screen, we're ready to do our ADAS calibration. To do that, we'll press the ADAS assist button here on K4. This sends all the alignment information to Aztec so that they know the alignment's been completed properly. So our instructions say that we need to plug in the Aztec device and then fill in required information. So, when we plug in the Aztec device, it's going to auto-populate and auto-start the Aztec procedure here on the Aztec screen. We also need a wireless hotspot so that it can maintain connection while we drive the vehicle for dynamic calibrations. So I've got both of these together, I've got them paired up. Let's plug in and take a look. The Aztec device will tell us that it's powered on, searching for a network, it's connected to a network. Here in a moment, we're going to see it pull the VIN. That VIN number is what's going to start the pending request with Aztec, and we'll see that on the aligner screen. So let's take a look at the Aztec screen where we're going to fill in our information. The plug-in should have started a pending request, and we can see the pending request here. 2020 Ford Escape, that's our VIN number, that's what we're doing here on this particular reset. I'll click to continue. We've got our VIN number and other information here, and I can click the Perform Calibration button. So this screen is where we tell Aztec why we're calibrating, what we're calibrating with, and what we want to calibrate. So we've got all that information here. So the first thing I'm going to select is any collision damaged areas on the vehicle. This particular vehicle has some front collision damage that resulted in a bumper and a radar replacement. We're going to select that we replace the component We'll type in radar here to let them know what has happened. We want to calibrate the front radar. We're going to use OEM procedure because it's a driving procedure. We have the option to add pictures. We do that through the Aztec app. Uh, for now, I'm just going to select other and ready to calibrate. At this point, we're waiting on the master technician to arrive. We'll see him arrive here in just a moment. It'll let us know when that happens, and he'll go through and do the quick scan as part of the setup. I'll communicate with the master tech using the chat box here and typing my response back and forth. While we have the master tech connecting and he's doing his thing on the other end, we need to do a little bit of preparation for the driving procedure here. So we know that this vehicle is a dynamic or driving procedure vehicle, so we're going to select K3 here. And then we see instructions for how to prepare the vehicle for the driving calibration. It includes removing the targets and wheel sensors from the vehicle, lowering the lift, and following the Aztec instructions from this point forward. So we'll do that now. So we can see here that our Aztec technician has arrived, and he's starting our quick scan. He said good morning here in the chat, and I'm going to respond, and we'll communicate this way as he goes through the scan and the rest of the procedure. So now that we've passed our pre-scan, we're now ready for calibration. The technician's entering the information that we need to know about the calibration here. Whenever I'm done, I'm going to press the calibration preparation complete, and we're ready to go. And we can see that the technician has initiated the drive, and we see front sensor not aligned here on the dash. So we're going to start our drive now. Here we go. We're going to drive above 35 miles an hour as the technician instructed us to on a road with clear lane markings and similar uh, fairly ordinary roadside objects. So we can see that our display changed and our message has gone away. This should be the Aztec technician. Hello, sir. You should have got a message saying it's done on the uh, dash of the vehicle. Yeah, 
Yeah, the, uh, the message that it was undone disappeared, so things look good. So we've arrived back at the shop. We can either go into the shop if the alignment bay is still open, or we can stay in the parking lot to finish the procedure at this point in time. Today, I'm gonna to stay in the parking lot and use the Aztec app on my phone to complete the procedure with the technician. The Aztec app will allow me to communicate with the technician the same way that I was doing on the computer screen on the aligner. So I get the message, you're all set to unhook, I'll get the report over to you shortly. Thank you. And we're done. Now that we're back in the shop, we can see that our report summary is available. We've reached the last step in the Aztec procedure, and our scan report is available now. That scan report typically takes five to 10 minutes to be ready for accessing after our calibration has been completed by the master tech. Now we can access that here, or through the Aztec portal, or HunterNet. So this completes our video. Thank you so much for watching.